to another episode of Python for Absolute Beginners. Last episode, we talked about strings, which is a string is literally defined as a sequence of characters. Of course, in Python, we know that must start with a letter. You can't start a string with a number. So writing anything like hippo, that's a string. Now, we also talked about the basics of string slicing, which is where you, maybe you have a string of information and you want to divide it up in some way. So if you had hello, for example, and you want to just grab, say, um, H, then you just say, find me O in the first, because in Python, the first letter is zero, then one, two, three, four. So there we're just gonna get H. So that is kind of the basic uh, pre-understanding you need to have a string slicing. And where it comes into play in kind of the real world is if you were to have, say, a list of 100 friends and they're all coming over and you're gonna make them dinner but you wanna get a gauge for what their tastes are. So you ask them their favorite food, maybe a food they're indifferent with and their least favorite food, so you can make sure you aren't making that, right? So we'll just assign uh, food, we'll assign that to the value of my favorite food, which is pho, we'll say, and then indifferent, dumpling, and then a food that I don't like is mushrooms, right? So now food equals this string of information, my favorite, indifferent, and my least favorite. But we got a hundred of these responses. So there's a hundred people that wrote out a string, of their favorite food, a food they're indifferent to, and their least favorite. But we just wanna find their favorite, right? So we're gonna type in um, food, and then we're gonna use a feature called index. And index is finding a position within a list, right? So indexing is literally defined as just finding a position within an ordered list. So we want food index, what do we want it to find? Well, we want, this is a list of 100, so we want it to do the first, let's say, pipe here. We would just want it to find the first pipe. So we'll say, find me the first pipe. Bam. And it gave us four. And this is the value from the start of our string to that first pipe. So we know that this is zero, then the h would be one, then two, then three, and then four is the pipe. So if I were to type in uh, food, right? So food is defined as this string here. And we're going to say, find me to position four. We're going to get the pipe because that is the fourth position. But say we actually want it to, you know, write out the, we want it to write out pho because that's my favorite food. So we're going to slice this string, which is food, which right now includes all that information. We just want it from the start, which we can do the colon, or we could do zero and then colon, and then put four. And there we're going to get pho. But we want to not only find that string, we want to assign pho as my favorite food. So we're going to write out favorite, and we're going to assign that a value of find. Uh, so food, this is, if we just did that favorite, favorite equals food, it would be pho, dumplings, and mushrooms. And we know that that's not the case. I don't love mushrooms. So food, we have to be specific about what we're referring to, starting from the colon, which again, we could do the zero or the colon. And then we're saying in that string, find me with index, the first pole, right? So here, we're now assigning the value of our favorite food is this bit, perfect. So now when we put in favorite, what's gonna come? Pho, pho appears. So now whenever, when you're assigning this value or when you're looking to slice a string, you can not only assign a value to a subset of information or movements in a string, but you can also slice it in a way that will save you time.